On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we have arrived at Lego Animal Crossing Island. Just look at this beautiful island of all sets combined to form a fantastic world of Animal Crossing. We have Nook's Cranny along with a few homes and several elements of island, rivers, streams, mountains, and the beach. It is looking beautiful, full of minifigures and wonder. There is so much to gaze at this beautiful Animal Crossing. I have been eagerly awaiting these sets. There's even a squirrel minifigure character in there. I love the little minifigure squirrel. This is Animal Crossing genius of all these sets combined. There's such a huge world to explore. I see fruit trees, I see butterflies, I see spiders, I see bones, I see all sorts of things to dig on into this collection. Oh look, it's Tom Nook at Nook's Cranny. I've always wanted to meet Tom Nook. How is it going? That's really neat to see. Oh, can we peer inside your shop? I would love to see what's going on inside your shop. Let's just take a peek through one of these doors. And oh, bones! Oh, oh, where are all these bones coming from, Tom Nook? That's pretty creepy. Uh, yeah. what, why are there so many bones out there? Oh my, yeah. Uh, well, let's just pan away, pan away. Go over to the beach. It's safer at the beach. Oh, there's that new squirrel minifigure character from Animal Crossing. It's kind of grumpy. Oh, no, just chop the head off that dude. Why, why would you do that? Why, just yeah, get away from the beach. Go, yeah, okay. This house over here looks nice and calm. This is the part of the island I like to be involved in. And oh, look, another character has emerged from the door. Hello. How's it go? Oh, it's a vampire! Oh gosh, yeah! So there's lots of things going on my Animal Crossing island. I hope yours is the same, just not as scary. Let's go through all these new Animal Crossing builds. They've been certainly long awaited. Can't wait to see how each one looks. Squirrel Stampede! Please like, share, and subscribe! So the surprising deal about LEGO's Animal Crossing First Wave is that all the five sets are under $200, which seems like a pretty good deal. Or maybe they've just conditioned us to think that's a good deal. But you really don't need all five sets. In fact, I think you only really need two. I think the two most important are right up front here with Nook's Cranny and Rosie's house. Nook's Cranny is a big part of the game. You use it quite a bit. And there is Tom Nook hanging out front. And as for Rosie's house, we can just rebrand it as our own house. As for a second build, I really like Bunny's Outdoor Activities because it gives you a little bit of the island feel. You have a stream to jump over, a couple more trees, just a couple elements to expand your island. Maybe, just maybe, Isabella's house visit and Bunny's Outdoor Activities would work well together too. You'd have a house to move in and a few elements, some pretty cool character pieces. Uh, over here, Captain's Island Boat Tour is also pretty cool. I, I won't I won't throw that set away because now you have some beach elements to add to your island. So maybe this one, this one, and this one. I don't know. I just want to avoid picking all of them, especially Julian's birthday party. I uh, really only picked this one up because it was the fifth and final set in this first wave. And it should give us enough to build a pretty interesting island. So I'm saying Nook's Cranny is where you want to start, set number 77050 with 535 pieces, and Tom Nook and Rosie. Who's Rosie? Have I ever met Rosie? It's been so terribly long since I played I don't know anyone. Over on the back of the box, where apparently I need to eat a few peaches, we're getting a look inside each building, and there's a whole lot of customization with these builds, uh, sort of kind of like your Mario sets, where you can kind of build how your world wants to look. Let's see what's inside. Oh, thank goodness, instructions are included. I was a little bit worried this would turn out like Mario, where there was only an app. There's Rosie's house build to start you off, and then Nook's Cranny. With bags one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a couple base plates to work with. So 535 pieces here, that should keep you pretty busy. We have a lot to build today, so let's just load this up right now. 
and constructed what I believe the most important set, Nook's Cranny. If you're crossing animals, you've got to have a shop. Tom Nook will hook you up. So two main structure builds here with a little bit of tree here too. I'm more interested in the crannery up front. We have Tom Nook standing. I think that's a recycle bin. We've got the bulletin board. A lot of important things for Animal Crossing happening here. Pretty lively storefront too with the nice little banners and awnings. Over on inside, a little bit tight but there's some interesting things like cash register. Really nice refrigerator. It's stocked with some interesting things. Some brooms, shovels, important things you may need in crossing. Guitar, plant. Although missing employees, Timmy and Tommy, what happened to them? Did he just say they accidentally got thrown in the dumpster and then fell into a tree trimmer? Well, that's always the fun things that we like to pretend when we're at Nook's Cranny. We always like to make Timmy and Tommy's life really difficult. Good looking shop up front. Then on to Rosie's house. So Rosie's build, meh, not as important. It'll liven up your island with an extra structure. Rosie up front there. She has a little tea party set up on that side with a translucent umbrella. And over at the back of her place, all of this is customizable in each building, beds, chairs, nice little stove over here. Oh, there's the bed. The quilt was pretty fun to build. But not the most exciting place to hang out with. I almost had wished all the pieces of this building went into Nook's Cranny and the store would be larger. There is a customizable feature to a lot of this stuff too. With this one, we can switch out the windows. So if you don't like round windows, or if you don't like that roof, pop a window out and then we have pink square window options. And probably should put this back. Did he just say Timmy and Tommy are burning in the hedge trimmers? What, what's going on over there? Yeah, hex. you gotta watch out when you're living next to Nook's Cranny. So I give this build a four out of five squirrels. I would have given it a fifth squirrel easily if Timmy and Tommy minifigures were included. They were not, made me sad. Maybe, maybe, just maybe they are just holding off characters for a second wave. I would have liked to seen the crannery being a little bit larger too. That would have easily given this uh, that fifth elusive squirrel. Oh, and I like this tree over here. It's got some oranges on it. All right, well, while Tom Nook's crannery burns, let's go into my next favorite set. And like I said before, I think I like this one a lot. It's just basic. Set number 77047, Bunny's Outdoor Activities at 164 pieces. It's the quickest way to add a little bit of island scenery to your island with that all-important stream crossing, some trees, and a few extra details. Although I don't think I've ever met Bunny either. There's several characters here I just don't know. Let's see what's inside. Build instructions, one book, bag one, bag two. A lot of outer greenery here. Let's circle up and construct. And constructed what I now think is my most favorite set, Bunny's Outdoor Activities. The only set that pretty much nails what you do in Animal Crossing the entire game, jumping back and forth over a stream. Back and forth. Oh, I need some flowers, I go over here. Oh wait, I need to go over here and get that tree. No, wait a second, I need to go back over here and get that rock for some iron. No, there is never iron when I need it, so I have to go back over to this tree and shake out some leaves. Nope, wrong tree, I need to go back over here to the cherry tree. Oh wait, there's a rock, nope, no iron. I better go back over here now and get some trees. No wait, that spider's scary, I'm going to go over here and get that butterfly. I'll catch that butterfly. Nope, nope, wait, 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 I forgot. I need to go back over here and get that spider. No wait, spiders creep me out. I'm going back over here to that rock. No iron, darn. Well, I'm gonna go back over here and now jump. And I will continue to do this 100 times. So it's got a great modular feel to this. This set you pick up, you can take it apart, very much like your Mario, Super Mario courses, and you could add in all these elements to various areas of your other builds, which I think is pretty neat. In fact, you might wanna pick up a couple bunnies outdoor activities to really load up your island with the scenery of Animal Crossing. Maybe the only thing missing on this that I would have liked to have seen was an expanded stream bed. It's only just the top here, waterfall and bottom. It really would have been nice to have a couple extra tiles, I guess we can borrow from Mario, of uh, a stream. That would have been really helpful. But lots of elements that you use in gameplay here. We've got a net for catching your butterfly. We've got a shovel for digging out surprises in the earth. There's even a little spot here with a surprise in the earth. The tree, you can open up and pull out a stick or a limb. And in fact, this cherry tree, very similar. I did not check out the orange tree, a peach tree. Uh, there is also a stick in there hidden. All these game specific items that you hunt for. Little fire pit over here with a tree stump that you would have cut down a tree for wood. Oh, and a hammer over here. 
Or is it an axe? It's an axe for breaking out a stone and getting that iron that I can never find. So I like this build. I like this build quite a bit. Let's check out Bunny real quick. Pretty much one of the big main things of this series of Animal Crossing is all the new great minifigures. Here's a bunny with a hat of a bunny head standing next to Rosie. Is Rosie a cat? What is Rosie? She's got a tail, so probably a cat. And of course, Tom Nook. Where did Tom Nook go? Did he just say the ghosts of Timmy and Tommy are haunting him and he needs to rebury the sacred unholy relic? What, what is going on in that shop? So I like this build, it runs at a low cost of about $20. Maybe an extra minifigure would have helped it out, but I'll give this four squirrels out of five. I can't remember if I ever did tent camping with Animal Crossing. There's a tent in there too. Okay, next build. I like livening up my island with the scenery. And I really want to see Marshall because I think he's a squirrel. Set number 77048, Captain's Island Boat Tour. Also a boat included, very nice. So add on this set along with Bunny's Outdoor Activities and you're gonna have a nice full island going on. On the back here just sharing how things can mix and match and move around. Very customizable. Inside the box, a reasonable booklet of instructions. Bag one, two, and three, three bags along with Captain's Boat. So let's spin these pieces around a little bit and see what we get. And constructed Captain's Island Boat Tour. Also a really nice build in the series. And it's tough to compete with the squirrel. Marshall, is it? I don't think I've ever met Marshall. How come I haven't met half of these characters? This is another great world building set. We have the beach included and a nice little layered cake of island going backwards. Couple beach chairs, sandwich, fishing rod. I like the fishing rod, that's a fun little feature. Cute, cute little crab. And of course, Marshall with an acorn over there under the, why that's a palm tree, do acorns come from palm trees? Cap'n here on his boat. Kind of fun little boat set, outboard motor, you can move it around here, Captain. A turtle, for some reason I thought he was a, I don't know what I thought he was, but turtle giving boat tours around your island. Goldfish, just a great set to add these pieces on around your island. Obviously, with a squirrel included, I will give this one five out of five squirrels. Well, okay, I'm being impartial. Having a squirrel Animal Crossing character is so cool. I have been looking for this minifigure my whole life. Look, it's got a tail, it's got a squirrel tail. He's so cute, I love Marshall. And I like how Marshall's kinda grouchy. He kinda is like, did I just do three or four toy reviews in one week? Why did I do that? Why is my head spinning? It might have been this upcoming Godzilla City battle I just recently filmed. Anyhow, this gives it five out of five squirrels. Although the rest of the set, it's good. It's good to have a beach themed set to include with the other set. So I'll stick with five out of five squirrels. So two more builds. Let's go with the most unneeded. And that would be Julian's birthday party. I really almost passed on this set. I can't remember, does Animal Crossing celebrate your birthday or something? I probably miss it every year because I'm doing things on my birthday and not playing Animal Crossing. It is the most basic set at $15, but you know, there's really not much going for it, but we'll check it out just because we checked out the others. On the back there, more tiles to move about your island. Lots of party pieces, I'm sure. So inside the box, one small instruction booklet. Bag one, two, three. Four. Did that not have twice as many bags as the larger set we just did? Plus one of these springy things and an extra base plate. Let's go around the sun, see what this thing looks like tomorrow. And so here we have the party part of the island. Certainly will add some color to your area. Lots of pretty lights and bells and whistles with this one. Packages, some packages with surprises too. You can open some of these up. That one's closed. This one, this one had the, um, well, a microphone and a star. Flower tree here in pink, which is kind of nice to have. That'll add some color. Lots of small Lego friends like accessories. And then this dude, Julian here. And maybe that's why I really picked this setup just to complete the minifigures of series one, a little blue horseshish unicorn to have in the collection. So it's not really a bad set. It's just kind of compared to the others. It's just not very interesting. I mean, I really can't say much about this set, unfortunately. I give it one squirrel out of five. And so that brings us to our final build and it's a good one. Set number 77049, Isabel's house visit with Isabel and Juana. Have I, have I seen either one of these two? My island, it's so boring compared to this island today. So many more characters. This is another good structure house build. In fact, I think I like it the best as it feels a little larger than what we saw with Rosie's house. What do we got in the box? One instruction booklet, a little thicker than what we've seen. Set one, 
Okay, two, three, four, five, and six. Plus a base plate. So this build's certainly the second largest in series. Let's circle around and see what we get. And we end on a very strong note with Isabelle's house visit constructed. I feel like this is the most Animal Crossing-esque set. Like, if you didn't see a box and this was just sitting on a shelf, you would immediately identify it as Animal Crossing. With the style of house and the tree with the three fruits, I'm already feeling like I'm on the island. Lots of accessories too with this one making it fun. And two pretty good solid minifigures too. As minifigures go, Isabelle and Fauna. All the minifigures of this series have been fun. Good to see these animal, animal Crossing heads on these minifigures are lots of fun. And a big part why I got into this collection right away. Did he just say Timmy and Tommy are coming back from the dead again? Oh, that Tom Nook. Ooh, and I even have an extra water piece. I can start expanding my river. We've got a lot of things to move in. Let's spin around and see what we got back here. I think it's about the same size and scale of Rosie's house though, so it's not too much different. Uh, well, we got a grandfather clock I can put in here, maybe on this back wall. It's probably the most room I've got for it. Got another stove piece, I'll put this one kind of right there. Nice little table piece, this could go inside and out. Maybe I'll place that outside the sink. We'll put the sink by the window, that would be a natural spot for it. And a giant bed. The beds are huge. But I guess so are the characters. Their heads are a little bit bigger than normal. So a few things up front and then over on the outside we do have a nice little garden patch here with a carrot and pumpkin. I'll just square that down here. Mailbox here, each with an envelope inside. There's our outdoor tea party with a couple chairs. We got a book, a little case. And like Rosie's house, we have switchable windows. These are round and in blue. I kind of like the brown square. Oh, and there's a floating surprise up top that tree. Was there something in there? I can't remember. I just built it like two seconds ago, I should know. Oh, uh, some paint. <laughs> Got some green paint and some orange paint and a brush flying up there. So kind of a fun little idea there. So I like this set. This is a four squirrels out of five set. It's not a full five like the squirrel set from the beach. But really, I don't think any of these sets got a full five today. But they all have been certainly fun. And so here is my first layout of all the Animal World Crossing sets together. I placed Nook's Crannery sort of in the middle. Why do I always say Crannery? Cranny. Crannery sounds so cool. You know, like a house on either side kind of works pretty well. Got a goat back there. And a little bit of the party back there. Not so interested in that. But I've expanded everything out. Got a little stream coming over here, over to the beach. So that works pretty well. Might need to pick up an extra bunny pack and an extra beach to expand the island, but maybe we'll see some expansions in a second wave. We hope, we hope. I would love to see a museum build right back there, a large museum build with blathers. That would be so awesome. With all sets linked together, I would go with an overall score of four out of five squirrels. It would have been nice to have just a little more elements of nature, some ground pads to connect help connect everything together. Although you can certainly, again, use your Lego Super Mario course builders and use those extra pieces to kind of build up your island. They match perfectly to each other. So that's always an option. And I would say the only misfire of this first wave of figures is not having a player figure. I kind of wish each set had a player, a customizable player minifigure for each set, and after you bought a few sets, you would be able to customize up your guy a little bit better. So that's kind of a miss there. Maybe in future waves, we'll see some humans added in. I'd love to have my own Animal Crossing style head on top of yeah a regular Lego minifigure body. Uh, so maybe that's coming, we'll see. I think that could have been implemented pretty easily uh, as there's not too many minifigures in this collection. But there we go. That is our first full collection wave of Animal Crossing. Again, I like the price. It was all under 200. I think we're conditioned for sure. A few years ago, maybe this would get you all of this for 100. But nowadays, you know, inflation, toyflation. But wow, what a village. I've really enjoyed the Animal Crossing series here. This first wave has been lots of fun. 
And there we go with LEGO Animal Crossing, all first wave of sets in spring 2024. Great looking village to start off. I hope, I hope we get a second wave because these have been lots of fun today. If you like today's video, please give us a squake, squirrel live, squam it, your favorite Animal Crossing set. Don't forget, are you a superior squirrel watcher? Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.